Okay, perfect. Let's uh, go ahead and get started. So, today's agenda, we're going to focus on uh, some additional expression, uh, some additional operators in expressions. I'm going to cover those quickly. Uh, I want to get you oriented to basics of functions and we'll look at some math functions. And then I've got uh, assignment four and what I'll do is like to cover that and so you can um, work on it uh, by student. It's likely, I'm assuming you'll probably end up with about a total of 10 assignments. Uh, so tons of, tons of coding with these basic language constructs. So. So, expressions and different operators. We have talked about expressions already, you know, the concepts of precedence and associativity. These were covered these were covered last time, or the time before last actually, um, before covering input output. So precedence is the order in which operators are evaluated and each operator has a precedence in an expression. Unless you specify parentheses, the order of evaluation is then controlled by, using, by usage of parentheses. But without it, you're you're basically using the um, default precedence. And for your reference, what I've done is provided you a, a chart in the notes. So if you go under working with expressions and scroll down all the way, you're going to find this little chart that pretty much lists out all the operators. And you'll notice that uh, division, modulus, subtraction are higher than addition, subtraction. Uh, multiplication should be added there, so I'll, I'll, I will add that. And there are a um, ton of other operators that I'm going to cover today. I am most interested in uh, you guys knowing about these unary operators, usage of plus, plus, and minus, minus, which I have yet to cover. I have covered all the arithmetic operators and also these uh, shorthand for plus equal to, that has been covered also already. I don't recommend using that frequently, but you know, if it makes sense in an expression, certainly go ahead. So then there are other operators listed like relational and logical. I'll get to those when um, we talk about conditions, probably on probably next time around. And I'm not going to cover the bitwise operators because those are not in scope for the course. Time permitting, if I have uh, towards the end of the quarter, I'll bring that to your attention. I'll certainly, even if I cover it, I'll not be testing you on it. So unary operators, uh, usage of plus, plus, and minus one. So if I declare a variable and I end up writing an expression like this, you, you end up with incrementing the value, uh, you end up incrementing the value of x by one. So the value of x at start of this expression is is five, and at at the end of expression, is six. So, so what does that mean? that if I were to 
print out the value. So I'll use printf because I expect you guys to use it too. I can say percent D x plus plus. And notice if you end up using if you end up using um, an expression inside a printf, it's good. It's important to put that in uh, parentheses. So now, since I've already done one increment and I'm creating this as a program, what will be printed out here is six. So let's say I'm, I'm in the output console. I'm gonna see the value six. But the value after printf value of x after printf will be 7. Does everyone understand that? So this is the operator where I am printing the value of x and I am doing the increment and increasing the value by 1. Right? These are called Postfix operators. And you need to understand the difference between this and now if I go in and say this in an expression, plus plus x, that's a prefix operator, which basically means that the value of x will be incremented by 1. And then print it. Value at value of value at end of expression is still a unary increment. So we need to compare and contrast these. So now I've done this, so the value of value of x is now eight. I'm just continuing down the program with the same operator. So if I have yet another printf after and what I what I'm doing is plus plus x, right? So value of x will be printed after the unary increment, which means this time around I'm going to print. So this was 6, right? But value of, value was, uh, value was 7 after, um, value of x became 7 after it was printed. Then I carried out a plus plus x, which made the value 8. And then I have one more plus plus x, right? So this time, what I'll print is 9. <coughs> and value of x is 9. I'm trying to show you the difference between postfix and prefix, if that is clear. And if it's not, let's look at one more example. So let me do this. Let me declare x and y. And I'm basically starting a new program here. So I'm done with the previous. And what I'm interested in is setting the value of x and y to 5 this time. And what I'd like to do is print uh, both x and y concurrently. So 
So we could say something like this, x is equal to and y is equal to percent d. And then I want to print the value of x plus plus and uh, plus plus y. So this way we can we can see um, both operators together, postfix and prefix. This is a postfix, which means what? It's going to print the value of x and then do the increment. Uh, this is plus plus y, which means uh, prefix. It's going to increment the value of y first and then print it out. I hope that is making sense to everyone. And we will run this a couple of times. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste that expression one more time. Now if I were to look at the output, the value of, well, will, the value of, uh, the values that will be printed are five and six respectively, and then six and seven respectively, and then seven and eight. But value of x and y is eight. At end of last printer. Okay? So I hope that makes sense. And it also helps you understand the difference between prefix and postfix. Okay? Both are unary operators, and if all you care about is incrementing the value of um, x and y by one, then uh, the side effect that is being shown in the printf really doesn't matter. But the side effect does matter if you're interested in the value of x before and after. And then you have to be careful about how to use or when to use x plus plus or plus plus x. One thing you don't do is use the postfix or, or prefix operator on the same uh, variable in the same expression. So not a good idea to use prefix or postfix operator twice on same variable in same expression. So something like this, like x is equal to x plus 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 x plus plus. And then you've got, say, int x equals 5. This will be a totally confusing expression. Because how do I determine which value of x to use, right? So. I mean, here is the value going to be six and then seven for me to do the unary increment. I mean, the base value of x is really five at this time. And if I'm trying to do a unary increment twice, is it six plus six or is it six plus seven, right? So, so we just avoid these kind of issues to create um, uh, we don't want to create bugs unnecessarily. So. so you just avoid those issues. So this is the point on unary operators. What is the difference between what we have covered is what is prefix and postfix? difference and the side effect and what not to do with unary operators.
any questions that I can help address on this topic? And if you are all okay on this, I'm ready to move on to the next thing, which is functions. Do you have any questions? Okay. 